Castor for the corner three. Derek Castor hits that three. Flores, laro lang ng bata kumatake at dosin na. So we have a front day. On over in Sydney. On over in throwing up a triple. Mr. Rosen is not known as a three-point shooter. Pero ito si Cross. Hindi lang papasok ito ng Lefran Heights. Down low to Ilagan. Ilagan for three. Ilagan is on fire. Long distance three. Ginamila pa ng banta. Yus na mga. Ngayong ikawalo ng Agosto, taong 2017, we are live from ABS-CBN SNA at SNA HD Channel 166. We are coming to you mula po dito sa loob ng Philo El Flying V Center sa lungsod ng San Juan for our two games this Tuesday. It will be the Emilio Aguinaldo College Generals and the Arellano University Chiefs. This is your NCAA Season 93. We're also greeting everybody from all over the world via TFC.TV and sports.abs-cbn slash livestream slash NCAA. Those are the two games on tap this Tuesday afternoon. Mamaya maya, it will be the Mapua University Cardinals taking on the College of St. Benil Blazers, both teams with just a single win and four losses. But at hand, it will be the 2-2 two two EAC Generals and the 2-3 and three Arellano University Chiefs. Hello and magandang hapon po, Pilipinas. And to everybody all over the world, ako po si Andre Felix, para po sa SNA. Kasama si Mr. Game Time Mix Bustos at kasama natin ang mga estudyante ng Arellano University na mula pa sa Legarda Street sa Manila. Magandang hapon sa'yo, Mix. Magandang hapon sa'yo, Dre. Alam mo, magandang batting panimula ng week na to. Medyo kapanipanibago kasi two games ang tayo this Tuesday. Pero syempre, with a festive crowd, festive energy ng uh, mga Chiefs, eh talagang for sure exciting itong game na to. This afternoon, Dre. Bago tayo tumungo at pag-usapan, ang pareho ko po na na magbabanggaan ngayong hapon, Mix. Silipin muna natin ang ating team standings para lang malinaw sa kaalaman ng ating mga manonood ng NCAA kung saan nga ba nakapwesto ang mga koponan. Uh, wala pa rin talo. Ang isang koponan, ang Lyceum of the Philippines University Pirates at sinusundan nga sila ng San Beda College Red Lions na may 5-1. Pero nabanggit ko kanina, mix yung EAC at Arellano, pareho may dalawang panalo. Ito nga, no, bukod sa EAC and AU with two wins, lima silang teams, Dre, na may two wins pa lang dito sa Season 93. Pero ang EAC has this chance to go on solo third place. Pero tough games ahead after today kasi LPU naman sila on tour sa Thursday. Tapos JRU next week. Tapos paste sa August 18. So it's gonna be a tough 10-day stretch for them pero kailangan talaga just to get this game today para naman sa AU they have Perpetual next and CSB within the next two weeks pero this is EAC's chance to go on solo third place and para naman sa AU eh tingnan natin kung mapapawin nila yung kanilang mga talo for this season 93 Tama, ang AU kakagaling nga lang sa talo kontra sa Colegio de San Juan de Letran ang EAC nga bago tumungo sa kanilang home floor sa Webes kontra sa LPU eh kailangan sana makaisa dito ngayon against AU When the season started, Emilio Aguinaldo College had the likes of the little general Francis Munsayak, had the Hamadu Lamido and Sinian Webere. Pero the reinforcements have arrived. Ayan na sila on our screens. Well, kanina, Jervin, Guz Jervin Guzman, Jesse Bautista and Raymond Pasqua ay ngayon kumakamada, tumutulong para sa EAC. Now, uh, Dre, just like the guys that you mentioned, sila lang yung makasanay tayo na gumagawa for EAC, especially last year. Pero ngayon, yun na nga, yung reinforcements, yung rest back dumating na para sa mga generals, yung mga added soldiers nila. You know, uh, for uh, Jervin Guzman, Juju Bautista, and uh, Raymond Pasqua, kaya naman pala nila skumor ng double-double. Or like in double figures rather, pero it's good to get this kind of production from them. 
Alam ni Coach Ariel na meron siyang kaasahan from the bench. And it's just all about consistency kapag makuha nila ito and hindi sila mahihirapan, I think, you know, at least for the end of the first round. Samantala, para naman sa panik ng Aguiliano University after tallying just 19 points in his first four games. That man, the 24-year-old 6'5", uh, native of Masantol, Pampanga, taking up BSBA marketing, eh kumamada ng double-double in that game contra sa Letran. He had 17 and 11. No, finally a breakout game for Gong Flores, 17 and 11, as you said, with four blocks also. Para sa akin, Dre, siya ang pinaka-importanting piece dito sa Arellano kasi makikita nga natin ang guard 18 team sila. Of course, yes. with Ken Salado, um, Brian Meca, Zach Nichols. Kailangan talaga siya yung magiging X-factor kasi hindi ka naman pwede umasa lang sa guards mo. If you have to feed your big men, kailangan uh, meron siyang confidence para mag-contribute sa production. Also, Underestimatedly, 7.2 games, uh, 7.2 points per game lang siya. Pero with his 17-point outburst, I hope that uh, Gong Flores will be able to remain consistent this season 93. There, you can see on your screen, Slurvin Gong Flores. And of course, para makompleto po ang aming uh, broadcast team this afternoon, let's bring in our third member. We have Miss Siege Tantengo. Hi, Siege. Good afternoon. Hi, Andrew and Mix. Magandang hapon sa inyo at magandang hapon sa lahat ng ating mga pamilyang nanonood sa bahay ngayon. Ramdam na ramdam ko na nga ang energy ngayong bagong linggo na ng mga labanan dito sa NCAA. At kasabay niyan, bagong question of the day. Kaya kung kayo ang mapipiliin mga kapamilya, sino ang all-time starting five ng NCAA school ninyo? Kung gusto nyo makita ang inyong mga sagot, live on air during our game, just answer that with the hashtag NCAA Season 93 and our official hashtag NCAA Strong. Kung meron naman kayong mga katanungan for our panel or di kaya for your favorite players, tag nyo lang kami. Our social media handles are there on your screen right now. Sisikapin kung kulitin ang mga favorite players nyo for you. So, aabangan namin ang mga tweets. Andre Mix, see you during the game. See you, Siege. Babalikan ka namin for your first report later on in the game. Kausapin naman namin yung aming mga katabi ngayon. Mix, mauna na ako. Kasama ko si Rafael Ablian, 14 years old, grade 10 student mula sa Aguiliano University. Hi, Rap. Magandang hapon. Magandang hapon din po. Rap, sino ang ultimate starting five para sa'yo sa school mo? Ang aking ultimate starting five is Salado, Flores, Enriquez, Nikos, and Becca. Go away, yo! Solid five. Maraming salamat, Rap. Ikaw naman, Migs. Grabe yung mga Arela Knights dito talagang. Uh -huh. Bigay na bigay ito. Ito uh -huh. kasama ko naman ang mga grade 10 students, mga 15 years old na si Brian, si Christian, at si JT. Para sa'yo, Brian, sino ang ultimate starting five ng school mo? Alalon, Pinto, Nichols, Caperal, and Holtz. Yun, humugot na mga season na uh, 90 players. Uh -huh. May Pinto at may Caperal. <laughs> Actually, solid nga yun para uh -huh. sa kanya. Pwedeng all time. Yes. Sa aming pagbabalik, ito na po ang banggaan sa pagitan ng Emilio Aguinaldo College Generals at ng Arellano University Chiefs dito lamang sa NCAA on SNA. Sean Neri, point guard. Dan Corilla, shooting guard. Jerome Garcia, shooting guard. Sidney Onubere, power forward. Amadio Lamino, center. Levi De La Cruz, the second, point guard. Brian Meca, shooting guard. Kent Salado, point guard. Michael Cañete, forward. Allen Enriquez, forward. Yan po ang starting five para sa Emilio Aguinaldo College Generals. Neri, Corilia, Hamaru Lamino, Sidney Onwubere, and Jerome Garcia, EAC, ay nakaputi ngayong hapon para naman sa Arellano University. They will start with their point guard, Levi De La Cruz, Kentoy Salado at the two guard, Mike Cañete, the man in the middle, Alan Enriquez, and Brian Meca up front. Para kay Coach Jerry Codiniera and AU is in blue. Ating mga opisyalis ngayong hapon ay mga nakapula. Ginoong Art Herrera, Alan Casal, Julius Medillo, and we also have Dave Jaramillo as our reserve referee. Game is underway. Unang possession, mabubunta sa mga nakaasul na mula sa Legarda Street sa Maynila. The Arellano University Chiefs who are 2 and 3 in Season 93. They're being very patient. A lot of movement, a lot of movement from different players 
Tumikada ka agad ng tres si Mecca in and out. Mapupunta kay Ongo Bere. Tumatak mo ngayon ang EAC. Here's Neri. Neri bumping Mecca. A lot of contact. No whistleblown mix. Well, just really a sluggish start para sa parehong pumunan. Couldn't get their offense going. More ball movement. Less dribbles. To get a, a good kind of offense. Enriquez! Unang dos puntos ng ating laro, courtesy of that man. And Coach Jerry applauding Enriquez with that basket. Ganda ng uh, fine goal para kay Alan Enriquez. Sinubo lang niya sa ring. Easy two points para sa Arellano. Neri pinoposte yan ang mas maliit na si Levy de la Cruz. They swing it over. Here's Corilla. Neri has it back. Finds Lamino. Underneath. Traveling. It was, a, it was a good play, though. Nakatulog ng konti si Kanye ito doon. Nagbulat oh. siya na doon na lang si Hamado Lamino. Pero he took extra steps for uh, getting to make that basket. Pero traveling ang tinawag kay Hamado Lamino. And that was the Dukot play. Yung uh, backdoor play ni Allen Enriquez. So, lamang ng dalawa. Ang AU, di pa nakakonvert ang uh, EAC. Enriquez, again, against Lamino. He will kick it out. Kanyete will fire from the outside. Tapi ka ng bola. There will be a loose ball foul at mukhang kay Allen Enriquez. You know, Dre, it will be a challenge para dito sa Arellano, Chiefs. Dahil nga, ang tangkad eh. Ang laki nitong si Hamado Lomino keeps on improving every year. Ito nga si Michael Caliente na atasan para talagang i-control itong uh, foreign player ng EAC. Here's Neri. Makulit talaga itong si Levy de la Cruz. Eh. <laughs> Very pesky yan eh. Oh. Kukulitin ka talaga niya sa depensa eh. Ito yung mga tipong guardia na makatulog ka lang ng kote. Sure ball, matatapik ang kanyan. Yung maagawang ka. Oo. Oh. Oh. Mag-relax ka, no? Yung Correct. Yung pinakakala mo hindi susundot. Ono mo, Bere, tumikada ng yes! Para sa tres! Para kay Sidney. Ono mo, Bere. Nagulat yung depensa doon. Pati tayo nagulat. Oh, Pumulap siya, layo. Kahit buong EAC, nagulat din. <laughs> So, lamang nang EAC ng isa dahil sa three-pointer na yun mula kay Onwubere. Susubukan bawiin ni Mecca. And Lamino towering everybody with that rebound. Alam mo, Dre, napansin ko rin, no? Bago rin yung net. Yung Pinoy ah, Family Center. Oh. Bago ba ang mukha nga, no? Fresh na fresh. Yung mga nangangabada yung ating mga manlalaro dahil oh. na, no? Lamino Mentes doon sa kabilang bahagi. Ito naman si Salado. Ginamit ang pick ni Cagnete na agawan ni Juan Ubere. Ahead to Corilla, but look at De La Cruz. Just really quick to the, ba to the basketball. Here's De La Cruz. Aggressive. Finds Enriquez. Oh, EAC asking for a traveling. And there is the traveling violation. Kala ko hindi natawagan, pero masyado lang malakas dito yung sa... Tambol, eh. Oh, yung tambol, eh. Hindi di ko din narinig yung ano, pito, eh. Oh. Lervin Flores, ang mamang pinag-usapan natin kanina, who had a double-double in that outing against Letran, a losing effort. Mecca, too close for contact. He will be called for his first personal foul. Court uh, coach Ariel Season, the former dean of School of IT. That's right. Pero na-interview ko siya. Makakita na si NCAA on tour, nag-resign na pala siya. Ah, nag-resign na. Sa kanyang focus. Ah, okay, oh. okay. So, nakapocus na lang siya talaga yes. as the basketball head coach. Yes. yes. Okay. Pero nagtuturo pa rin siya ng ilang subjects sa EAC. Oh, so he's still teaching? Yes. Hindi ah. daw niya maiwanan. In the meantime, yes, para sa dress, para kay Dan Corilla. Corilla, who had... No baskets, no points in their last game against Papua University. Did score there. Dalawang tres para sa EAC. Isa mula kay Onwubere, isa kay Corilla. Ganda ng pasa ni Salado kay Cañete. Extra pass to Enriquez. Works there. What a beauty for, e for AU. That's what they have to do. Find the open guys. Find the open men. Kasi nga medyo disadvantage sila ngayon sa height. And uh, if they can outsmart EAC, then I think that will work for them. Onwubere trying to go again. That time, he misses from the outside. He started off firing a three earlier. De La Cruz na hanap libreng libre si Alan Enriquez. Someone caught napping there, the defense of EAC. Ang tagal namang magnap nun, Dre. Tatlong beses nilang nauutakan. Parang hindi lang nap, eh. Pangungot niya. Tabla na po tayo. This is our first deadlock. Six apiece.
first timeout on the floor, and it will be called by the defense defense minister, which Jerry Cordinera will talk things over with the 5.59 remaining. Tabla Putayo, 6 all. Sydney on Wubere was clutch for EAC. And that they turned back that Papua rally. He had five points and a block in the last 30 seconds. Nung uh, larong yun kontra sa Papua University uh, last July 25. So medyo patagal-tagal na yung huli nilang laro. Pero yun nga, si Wubere did produce when it mattered most para sa Emilio Aguinaldo College Generals. Kaganda dito kay si Don Webere. Hindi lang siya scorer, pero playmaker din. He recognizes those types of situations. Mapataas man, mapailalim for that high-low play. And for si Don Webere, aba, double-double ang kanyang in-average. 15.8 points a game and 11 rebounds per game. So proving to be the main guy para dito kay Coach Ariel Season. He also adds two assists. Asalado, difficult. Try down low. And Kent Salado. First basket there. Mapupunta kay Mecca ngayon si Salado. Looking ahead. Salado attacks. The drop pass again to Enriquez. They've been going at Enriquez down low, drawing the attention of Hamadou Lamino Mix. And good starts for them kasi na po-prove ng Arilan yung kanilang diversity sa court. All 10 points ay nanggaling sa painted area para kay Coach Jericho Tinera. Samantala, EEC, bumaba kay Lamino. Nabitaw ni Lamino na kukuha ni Corilla. Uh, there will be a foul down low. In the meantime, puntahan natin muli si Siege Tatenko with her first report in this game, Siege. Yes, Andre. Napakalinaw ng hiling ni Coach Ariel Season sa dugout kanina ng Generals. If you stop Salado, you stop. Arellano, hindi lang daw scoring ang binabantay nila dito, kundi pati na rin ang kanyang mga assists sa iba pa niya ang mga teammates. Ngayon pa man, open sila sa adjustment. Kung sa dyang tutok daw itong si Salado, they're going to allow him to score and simply shut down the rest of the team. Sampung araw na nga daw nilang pinaghandaan ang laban na ito. Kaya naman, sabi nila, ano man ang iba to sa Generals, handa kami. Back to you, Andre. Maraming salamat, Siege. Talagang handang-handa ang mga general ngayon eh. Two points pa lamang ang naitatala ni Ken Salado. Talagang uh, dinidikitan nila. Base nga dun sa report ni Siege. According to Coach Ariel, you stop Ken Salado, you stop Arellano. Well, that is the challenge for Coach Jerry Gutierrez because coming into the season, veterano yung si Coach. Eh. Alam naman na yun eh. Alam nang nawala sila halalot. Nawala rin si Holtz. And it's obvious that it's gonna be a Salado-centric team. Pero malamang yung challenge na is nasa kanyang mga ibang players na to prove them otherwise. And this Enriquez doon, tinuatak mo ngayon si Neri, gets the lucky bounce. And the lead goes back to EAC, 11 to 10. Salado against Corilla. Corilla is just all over. I'll make that. Neri is just all over Salado, but sumundo siya. And he will be called for his uh, first personal foul. Karan niyo bang sakit niya na eh, Dre, ng mga player eh. Kapag naiwanan sila, susundo sa likod. Eh, hindi naman 100% guarantee na makukuha mo yung bola, di ba? Salado, nakahanap ng puwang, tumikada, mentes, nakuha ni Mecca, binaba kay Cagnete, traveling ang itatawag ni referee Julius Merillo. And, uh, the bigs of Arellano continuing to be aggressive down low. Hindi sila takot doon, kahit shot blocker si Hamado Lamino. Because all 10 points, I repeat, uh, coming from the paint para dito sa Chiefs. Oh, Lamino gets the basket and the foul. Tutungo sa linya for a possible three-point play. And Coach Jerry Cordenera signals Slurvin Flores to come in. Panuorin natin muli. Lamino, just too big, too tall. Para kay Mike Cagnete. Kahit pinayungan na ni Cagnete, eh, natawagan siya ng personal foul. So Cagnete will head to the bench. And comes in is native of Masantol, Pampanga, Lurvin Flores. Tunga kasi si Cagnete kanina na he, he overplayed the side front yung kanyang depensa kay Hamado Lamino. E eh, obvious naman na talagang mas matangkad siya. So kailangan lang ilobo yung pasa, makuha sa ilalim. Yun, nasungkit na yung foul. Sa kompleto ni Lamino, he now leads all, all the scorers from EAC. Anim na puntos na para kay Lamino, para naman sa AU. Si Alan Enriquez ang um, nangunguna na may 8 puntos. On a switch, Salado has Lamino. To De La Cruz. 
De La Cruz off to Flores, nag-isip. And offensive rebound kay Mecca, ginamitan ng glass, wala. Nakuha ni Onbubere, now Corilla says, Teka lang, lamang tayo ng apat, ba't tayo nagmamadali? Neri, hinihingi na Lamino, against Flores, down low. Lamino, against Lurvin Flores, the help by De La Cruz, and again, the quickness of Levy De La Cruz. Finds Enriquez. What a play. Levy De La Cruz from defense to offense, assisting Alan Enriquez. And Enriquez now with 10 points. Ganda ng uh, recognition tsaka ng play ni Alan Enriquez. Pasungkit-sungkit lang. Neri. The jumper by Neri. Uh, air ball and ball will go back to Arellano University. Coach Ariel Season. This time it's his turn to talk things over. They're up by two. 14 to 12. The NCAA will be back live dito sa SNA. Panorin natin muli ito yung De La Cruz with that steal and then off to Allen Enriquez for our Vivo perfect shot. Perfect selfie. And Allen Enriquez, ganun-ganun na lamang. 10 points na nga para sa kanya. Paabang-abang sa ilalim, padukot-dukot. Oh, nice move to the basket there for Viloria, who's now inside the game and scores right away off the bench. In the meantime, Lamino, ocho puntos na. De La Cruz will cross the timeline. We are tied at 14. We approach last two minutes in the first quarter. Flores misses. Offensive rebound to Viloria. Nakuha mo Lenny Lurvin Flores. And again, Lurvin Flores. Yan talaga yung uh, kumbaga calling card ni Lurvin Flores. Ever since we first saw him last year in doing the dirty job mix. Mm -hmm. Hindi nga siya known as to be a jump shooter or a solid back to the basket player. Yung mga ganun lang, mga intangibles, kukuha ng mga offensive rebound, re-reverse sa ilalim. Na big asset para kay Coach Jerry. Samantala, outside shot. Lamino tried to get the offensive rebound. Last touch ni Flores. So ball will remain with EAC in the meantime nagbabalasa na ang uh, parehong kukupunan pinasok na nga ni coach Ariel Season si Jervin Guzman bagsak si Lamino mukhang miniinda siya doesn't look good parang kinakamusta siya we're just hoping for the best and for sure Siege will tell us later on for an update what happened there. Well, uh, from our angle in that replay, thank you to our director, Abel Ramos. We well, I clearly saw na parang may naapakan siyang pa and he twisted his ankle. So, But we will find out what really is hurting for Hamadou Lamino. Normally, yung mga nagba-basketball, kahit tayo sa bahay, sa pick-up oh, game naman, sa no, park, naman. pag natutwist yung ankle mo, outward. Diba? Yes. Outward yung palabas. Pero yung kay Lamino, from the look, yung pag -pag uh, pagpagsak niya, paloob. Iba yun. Uh, let's see. But Guzman fires for EAC. And without Lamino, Guzman fires that three-pointer to give EAC again a three-point lead. Enriquez, and off to Viloria. Here's Craniel Viloria to Flores underneath. The pass to Abanes. Masyado malakas, nakuha ni Munsayak. Ahead, tumuloy-tuloy. It's good. Baga kay Bautista. Ito na yung mga open. Pinag-usapan natin kanina, oh, reinforcements. reinforcements. Jesse Bautista, German Guzman. Right away, fresh off the boat. Juju Bautista, ito nga yung uh, outlet pass ni Munsaya kay Juju Bautista. And of course kay Jervin Guzman, itong mga gumawa last game, 13 points para kay Guzman. 12 puntos naman, double-double para kay Juju Bautista nung last game. Salado connects on the free throw. Just had a single field goal earlier. Apataputos na para kay Kentoy Salado. 
Sayang. Pinahabol ni Abanes. On Mubere. Diego is also in now para kay Coach Ariel Season. Abanes with the board na off to Salado. Nakatingin sa game clock. Salado against Bautista. Salado. Off to Abanes for three. Oh no, pagsak si Abanes. Oh, it was Concep Concepcion earlier who took the three. And we want to avoid any commotion here. And our officials doing a good job making sure they're uh, controlling the game. So magagawan dito si Guzman, si Abanes ay babagsak. Diego also comes down hard. Concepcion rushes. And Tracy Abanes, alam niyang mintis yung tira niya. So uh, umawin lang siya dun. He wanted to follow his shot. And a good job for him kasi he remained aggressive. Ang saya. And Bautista gets foul. It will be on Ken Salado. Unnecessary foul dahil nga nasa penalty dito ang AU Chiefs. Okay, I... I stand corrected. It is on Richard Abanes. On a personal foul. Ni Abanes. Bautista now at the line. In and out with his first attempt. And the Juju Bautista so far this season. He is the fifth leading scorer para sa kanyang kumpunan with 7.7 points per game. A rookie lang to eh, with 6 rebounds per game also. A transferee. Para kay Coach Ariel. Gets Salado, gets Bautista, Salado. Oh, nice hesitation. Ganda naman. Galaw ni Gets Salado there. Accelerating, stopping, and then pushing it up again and driving there. Strong move to end the first quarter. Para kay Kentoy Salado. Ganda ng panimula ng Emilio Aguinaldo College. Starting with that tray from Sydney on Wubere. And then it has been Alan Enriquez mix. Padugot Dugot scoring 10 points in the first quarter. And of course, Giorgio Neri also para si EEC Generals. Ito nga parang tinimplan ni Salado yung siling na door. Gas break, gas break. <laughs> Getting into the destination is Kentoy Salado. Binagalan sabay kumataw eh. Kaya naibaba nila ang kalamangan ng EAC sa dalawa. Second quarter sa aming pagbabalik. Ito po ang NCAA Season 93 live on SNA.